What is going on guys? It is your boy S'mores. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are having a great day. In today's video, we're going to be covering the brand new Blue Jay M13 variant that you acquire from the Battle Pass at level 51. Take a look at this gun real quick. Give me your thoughts and opinions. It is a little bit of a grind, but this variant is absolutely clean if you ask me. Anyways, guys, before we jump into the class setup and everything, if you guys can do me a favor, drop a like for me. It would be greatly appreciated. And if you guys are brand new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I do cover Modern Warfare content weekly. Generally, it's best class class setups, new guns in store, and anything else COD related. All right, so for the class setup that I was using in today's gameplay, I had on the Tactical Suppressor, the Tempest Marksman Barrel, no stock, the 60 round mags, and the Ranger foregrip. Today's video is gonna be a little bit different. My buddy Roadkill called me out for using proximity mines too much the other day. Boy, if you don't- So I took that on as a challenge. So for today's gameplay, we're going to be trying to drop a tactical nuke with the M13 while handing out C4 sandwiches to little kids on the playground. So without further ado, let's get straight into the gameplay. Alright boys, so we literally Capture just got thrown into this target. match on St. Petrograd. It looked like a decent lobby, so we're going to see if we can't drop us a tactical nuke. Oh, I hear somebody up here. Hold on. Yep. That's one thing they never fix in this game was the footsteps, man. The footsteps are entirely way too loud. I'm still surprised they never fixed it. Honestly, you can hear somebody clear across map. Alright, this guy's just gonna chill with the flag. Got that guy. Took one out. Alright. So I'm running the suppressor just because um, I'm running C4s and with C4s I'm going to have to stay constantly moving. And I like to move around in their spawn. Hold that. So if you're going to be up in their spawn, a suppressor is definitely needed. I hear somebody else. Got him. And this map is actually really good for C4s because you can chunk them over these walls. That's why I like uh, C4s. My boy Roadkill didn't think I could drop a nuke with C4s. So we're about to prove him wrong. Oh. Alright, we got the VTOL already. If we get to advance. Look at that, dude. Kobe. <laughs> They're actually pretty fun to use. Okay. Where's that other one at? Oh. I thought he for sure saw me. Okay. We just need one more kill for the advance, so we're just gonna kinda wait it out. I hear one? All right, time to go in. Let's go. Oh, yeah, man. Hold that. Oh, damn, he has EOD on. All right, we're going in right now. Hold on. Yeah, I didn't want to shoot at that guy first. That would have definitely given it away. One more. Dead. Hold that. Oh. Dude, EOD, bro. Works for C4s, but other things, it definitely does not work. Let's go, dude. What are we on? Hold on, I think somebody's chasing me. Come on. Anybody? I just heard you, bro. Quit playing. There you are. Uh, we're on a relentless. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, I can't wait to tell Roadkill. Uh, I'm not quite sure what that kid's doing. The M13 is so underrated, though. It, it reminds me, like, okay, so you have the M13's fire rate, and with this new Fennec whip. Hold on. Woo! Oh! Um, I hate this game. Oh. 
All right, boys. Attempt number 300. We just got thrown into a match on Rust. I don't know what it is about this game, but I feel like, oh my God, hold on. I hate this map just because of that single tower right there. Reloading. Okay. Reloading. Any more? Oh my god, they just spawn right there in front of you, man. This spot right here on Rust, literally they keep spawning in that corner or underneath the pipes right there. It's crazy. But no, oh my mm, dude, I hate that freaking tower. Literally, that's all people do. Look at this kid, man. He just tried to Kobe me from downtown. Not gonna happen, bro. So, I was saying though, like, do you guys ever feel like 80% of the games you search up lobbies, you get thrown into games where it's already halfway over with and it's just pointless? Either the other team has streaks or your team's beating the hell out of the other team. It feels like a majority of the games are like that in Modern Warfare. I don't know what it is. But no, what I was saying earlier on in my video was that the thing about the M13 is the fire rate is so fast that you have to be patient with your shots, take your time and aim it up. Now, I don't know if you guys saw the Fennec video, but I was kind of mentioning the same thing with the Fennec. It also has a fire, uh, high fire rate. So with your shots, you just have to take your time, line it up, and then once you have your enemy lined up, pull the trigger, bro, and it is... oh melts so fast I think the M13 might be like one of my favorite assault rifles to be honest it all it takes is a little bit of patience uh, we're going in dude we almost got the advance this spot on rust especially if you guys play capture the flag or even domination if they're spawning over here on this side hold that uh, it's calling this advance if they're spawning on this side of the map, there's only two points on the map where they spawn. Either underneath those pipes right there or to the left in the corner. Um, dude, you're back up there. Teammate, you're standing right next to him, dude. Oh my god, bro. You were literally having a campfire up there with him and didn't even notice him. Dude, we are going in right now. Okay, we need to get some more ammo. Hold on. This kid's freaking shooting RPGs out me. Oh my lord. Hold that. Oh my god. Okay, we need to get the hell out of here, dude. Holy crap. So yeah, they spawn back there in that corner underneath the pipes. If your teammates are pushed too far over to the right, They'll spawn over here behind you. That's the only thing you have to be careful of. But this is such a good spot on the map, Rust. I'm just gonna sit here till the end of the till, uh, till the end of the round. I don't want to get too close to that kid that's been shooting RPGs at me and die to an RPG. I'll lose it. Kobe. No. Airball. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna post up to the next round, bro. No sense in chancing this. I need to get this nuke to show Rhodes that I can drop a nuke with uh, C4s. All right. What are we on? Like a 24, I think. All right, we're posting up. Alright, we're gonna try and get up here on this tower. I think we're like five off. Oh my god, that kid almost killed me. We're just gonna post up here, dude. This is the best spot. Honestly, I know I complained, but this is low key a power position on the map. And I need like four kills, I think. Five kills. I'm just gonna sit up here and pick them off, hopefully. Oh, we got the nuke, dude. Okay, I thought I was like four off. Let's go! And you thought I couldn't drop a nuke with uh, C4s, Rhodes. Challenge accepted, bud. 
Now we're just gonna see how high of a gun trick we can go on. Alright. Oh, I should have never turned my back when they were spawning back there. Alright, let's just call this in. Yeah, guys, M13 is deadly. Drop a like on today's video if you guys did enjoy. Hit that subscribe button if you guys are brand new. I'll probably try and go for a Galil game day tomorrow or something. Oh, we'll see. Anyways, guys, I hope you all have a great night, and I'll catch you guys in tomorrow's video.